So firstly, I want to do a massive shout out to Nurse Corinne. She's a nurse over in Ireland and she's just fantastic. Please go and check her page out. I'm going to leave the link below. Go and have a look. And I'm so, so glad that she's back and she's vlogging again. Yeah. She's great and she's such a lovely girl and she's going to make a great nurse. You can tell just by the way she is and what she posts and things like that. She's fantastic. So go and check her out. Thank you. Hi everyone. So today is Friday. I have three days before starting my next placement. Oh, I'm excited to get back into it, but... I'm not looking forward to the early starts and the late nights because I'm on the ward and I haven't, I told, I said this in a previous vlog, none of you have seen me on a ward yet and I haven't vlogged about ward work yet and it's going to be a new experience for you all so <laughs> we'll just leave it like that, I'm going to be so tired, it's going to be a great experience though because it's orthopaedics and I love orthopaedics and I love surgical and all of that jazz so I am excited for it but anyway so today is Friday I am filling out my documents so oh, as you might have seen on my GP placement we all have these documents so these are our placement documents that we fill out as we go and our mentor signs it for us so there'll be a lot of boxes inside that our mentor has to sign us off and there's a section at the front that we fill out um, and each section inside, so we've got professional values, we've got communication, team working, we have, what's this one? Nursing practice and decision making. So we've got all these and we have to fill out a little section in them just saying that you've read the above standards and what's your personal development plan going to be for that particular area. So I'm currently just filling that out, just wanted to do that. And this is our actual big folder that we keep all of our documents in. So I've got every single one of my placement books in here. And we also have an ongoing, hang on, I'll get this out in a minute. So we also have an ongoing record of achievement where we keep all of our mentor feedback and all of our sign off sheets um, in there. We also have our field specific spectrum so we have to get signed off all of these things we have to get signed off babies children and young people pregnant and postnatal women adults older people mental health long-term conditions and end of life care learning disabilities and physical and mental needs of a patient basically i've got literally every single section signed off already and to be honest i finished that in my gp practice placement because we saw a whole range of people so then the next one we have is our medicines management. So in first year, for both placements, we had five medicines to learn the side effects and everything like that. Now, second year is 10, and then third year, oh, we've got 10 for third year. I thought it was 20 for some reason. I think it's on the last placement, the management placement, we have 20 to learn for the very last placement. So that's my documentation. So before I start my placement, I always call the ward that I'm going to be working on like two weeks, at least two weeks, sometimes three, depending how excited I am. So this time it was about two and a half weeks before I just rang up to find out who my mentor was and what my shifts were going to be for the first week. And she actually gave me my shifts for the first three weeks, which is unheard of on a ward. Usually they tell you to show up on the Monday and they'll sort the rest of your timetable out on the day with you. So I was well impressed initially with this organisation skills of the ward that they've given me the first three weeks and it's amazing. So I'm going to be working Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays on the ward for the next three weeks and that's amazing. But I don't mind working weekends. A lot of people don't like to work weekends but I love working weekends because one, traffic getting to the placement is a lot better there's a lot more parking spaces as well and everything seems a little bit more relaxed at the weekends weekends and bank holidays everything seems just a little bit more relaxed and people seem happier it's really bizarre you need to experience it to believe this if that makes sense but i really enjoy working the weekends on the wards um actually in any healthcare setting i've worked at the weekends have always been really good and the bank holidays i don't i really don't mind what i work to be honest um whatever they give me i will do happily the only thing i do worry about is night shifts 
because it takes me, I live a good 22 miles away from my placement at the minute. It's a two hour bus journey, it's a couple of buses, there's no trains running at that time. I have to get there at 7am so I have to be up, I have to be out the door and on a bus at half past four in the morning to get there for seven o'clock. It's hell. Luckily I can have the car when I'm on placement so I do drive and it takes just over an hour. When I'm coming home because of the traffic load in the evenings it's like an hour and a half. So it is, it is tiring, I have to leave early, I have to be on the ball and when I get home it's about nine o'clock by the time you've eaten and oh, it's just, it's very tiring. So I'm gonna be showing you all of that. Um, you've got all of that to look forward to from me. So what do I hope to get from this placement? I'm looking to get a lot more, cause I don't, I haven't done a discharge before. So I would like to experience how to discharge a patient and also pre-op checklist. I really want to experience the pre-op checklist. And if there's some sort of pathway where I can follow the patient through theatres, watch them have the surgery, come back, doing all the checks and things like that, like a full journey, full cycle. I would love to see that on orthopedics. So we'll see, hopefully I'll be able to experience that. And um, just the general running of orthopedic wards. Um, this year I haven't had a ward, so I, I think I've just lost the touch of the ward work a little bit. So I just need to get my bell myself back into it. But you know, it's like riding a bike. Once you're in there, you everything just comes flying back to you and you remember all of this stuff. So I'm really excited for it. When I called my placement as well, they sounded amazing. They were really lovely on the phone. Really puts you at ease calling your placement before you go. And I'm just really excited. So this is just my pre-vlog before I start on Monday and then Monday I'll vlog the day and let you know how it all goes, what I'm getting up to, what I've been doing, what I've experienced, anything tough that I've, uh, well the hours will be tough for me, I will be emotionally drained on the ward, I'm going to warn you now, it's going to be a very different vlog, um, I'll still be positive and happy and motivated but I am going to be emotionally drained. I might even cry because I cried first year after the wards because I was exhausted and it's tiring. It's really, really tiring but I think it's good to show that side of it because it's it's not always going to be 100% yay, yay, positive, look, amazing, and nursing's amazing, fantastic, yay. It's not all like that but I am that sort of person that throws myself in and make the most of everything. Even when I don't like something, no one will ever know because I throw myself in and make the most of every opportunity and I'm just a genuinely positive, motivated person. So that's just the way I am and that's the way I always am. Even if I'm crying about my ward, I'll still be happy because I'm experiencing so much and I know that I'm doing a good job for a patient and I hope I'm doing a good job for a patient. But um, the, the one thing I am confident with is is my nursing practice and looking after a patient and caring for a patient effectively. That is one thing that I am confident with and because I've worked in healthcare for 10 years, it's something that's just, it's, it comes naturally to me. So academic side, exams, things like, no, 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 I'm not confident with those. But hands-on experience, that's something I know that I'm okay with and I know I practice safely and if I didn't know something I would go and talk to somebody about and get help with. Like, and I'm confident with that sort of thing. I'm really excited about my placement despite the hours, um, but I am excited. I'm excited to get stuck in and I'm excited to have four days off as well. For anyone that doesn't know the hours of placement, so it's 12 hour shifts, you only do three shifts a week because it's 12 hours so you get four days off. Every fourth week you have to do an extra shift to make up the hours and that fourth week is a killer because four long days in a week is just, it's a lot. Um, let's put it that way. But do you know what, it's, it's amazing. You do get four days off so you can relax, you can recharge, you can chill out and I've got no assignments to do, I've got no exams left so I can take that time to really concentrate on myself and take that self-care. So I'm excited. 
So I've waffled on for ages. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is what happens. I just talk. I don't script my vlogs. I literally just talk at you all. I'm going to stop talking now. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop talking. And thank you for reaching to the end of this. If you've reached the end of this. If you haven't, you're going to miss this message. So don't worry about it. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you all next week. Bye.